everybody. My name is Jennifer Bland. Um, I'm going to be talking on how to reduce your view bundle size with Webpack. To give you some information about myself, I'm a senior software engineer. I work for Stanley Black & Decker in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm also a Google developer expert. I work in the digital accelerator at Stanley, and last year they started a thing that was called the Industry 4.0 Initiative. And our job was to be very simple. In, in the calendar year of 2019, we had to create applications that would save Stanley at least $300 million in this calendar year. So what we did was we created a, what's called our factory core framework, which is a, an aggregation of multiple applications built into one application itself. The way that the application works is any person in a factory worldwide at Stanley can log in it will determine where, what factory they're located at, what applications they have access to, what permissions they have access to. And once they log in, it will take them to one of the applications that's part of our factory core framework. So it might take them to the admin app so that they can see it. It might also take them to our OEE app so they can see that. Here is our IoT app that's part of our framework. And then the last one that we have that's part of it is our paperless application. So what we have is we have an application that when it builds, it's basically right now a, an aggregation of five different applications and based on what they log in as to which one we actually show them. So the problem that we have is that when we do a build, we end up getting error messages like this that comes out and it tells us that for example, we have 14 assets alone that are over the 244 size limit that's recommended in your bundle. In addition to that problem, we also have four entry points in our application that are also over that size limit. So the problem is, what do we need to do is to find out what's causing the large bundle size that we have in this application that is an aggregation of a multiple of applications. So the first thing that I did was I went out and installed this plugin that's called Webpack Bundle Analyzer. And once I have it installed, you have to actually go out and configure Webpack to tell it that you're using that. So to do that, I went through and put that, um, this code right here into my viewconfig.js file, and that tells um, Webpack to use this particular um, plugin. What the plugin does is that when you create a build, it creates a visual graph of what's in your actual bundle that you're creating. So you can see here, this is my bundle. It's, you know, 2.4858 megabytes in size, which is extremely big. My biggest culprits are View, eCharts, Beautify, Moment, and Lodash. So the first thing that I did was I want to go out and reduce the size of Lodash, and you can see how big it is. By default, what we're doing is when we import Lodash, is I'm importing the entire Lodash application. And when you go through and you look at the five apps that are part of our thing, we're actually only using two different calls from within Lodash, but I'm loading the whole thing. So I changed it to where I'm importing just the two methods that we're doing, run my build again, and now my application is down um, to a much smaller size itself, so it's gone down to from 2.48 initially to 2.42. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the size of Moment.js, which is in my build. And then when you look at what Moment has, it has the date manipulation that we're using it for, but also the biggest part of Moment is the local, localized things for the internationalization, which we're not using at all, so I don't need that. So what we were doing was importing the whole package of moment and includes the date functions and the internationalization with the locales. And what we did was we ended up importing just the date manipulation um, functionality within moment. And as a result, what we end up doing is in our applications, there's five applications right now and that's going to grow. There are 18 different places in which we're using import moment for moment and we're going to keep adding more applications. I didn't want to have a scenario where a, a future application, a developer imports Moment again, and I'm bringing back the whole thing. So what we ended up doing in our view config, we put in this, this alias that would go out and it would substitute if a, a, a developer decides to import Moment, 
to actually import just the date manipulation parts. And as a result of that, making that change, now my bundle is down to 2.28 megabytes. So the next thing that I want to go after is Beautify. And Beautify is a great way for styling your applications, but it's very large in size and what it brings in. They do have an a la carte functionality in which you can go out and go through your application and look at all the components that you're using and import just those. Well, with five applications and trying to go through all of them to try to figure it out manually, that's just not going to happen. That's just too much work. They do have this beautify loader in which you can go through and it will determine what you're using and only load that. So in order to put that in, I actually loaded the beautify loader so that we have that in our application. You have to actually add the styles because you're loading things in individually. And as a result of that, this is what we were using originally to import Beautify for our plugin. So we were importing the whole Beautify library. Now we changed it so that we're importing it from the Beautify Live. We're pu and pulling in the styles also. And then as a result of that, we had to tell Webpack to use the Beautify plugin, the Beautify Loader plugin. And that plugin will basically pull in just the things that we need. And as a result, now I, my thing is, my bundle side is now down to two megabytes. So the last thing that I want to do is to go after view eCharts, which is the biggest thing that we have left. And what I was doing originally was importing eCharts and pulling in the whole thing. They have a minified version of it that you can use and just change your import to do that. And as a result, when you do that, now my bundle, which used to be 2.48 megabytes, is now down to 1.28 megabytes. So we basically have reduced it by almost 50%. So this is an idea of what we've done in our company to bring things down to a smaller size. So last thing I would like to do is I'd like to give a shout out to Hasura. They've got a booth here today. Make sure you stop by and look at it today or tomorrow um, at the conference. They provided a diversity scholarship that allowed me to be here today. And if you're interested in looking at my slides, this is my GitHub account, which is Rat Race Grad. And you can be able to go out um, later today. I'll upload it, and you'll be able to see my slides on what we've done. So my name, again, is Jennifer Bland. Thank you very much.